how do we delete compressed NFTs from our Solana wallet? So compressed NFTs, they're in your Phantom wallet quite often as drip artwork. I'll show you drip artwork. This here, this is a drip C NFT that goes out to tens of thousands of people every week. And I've got a video on drip if you like. And down here in the hidden collections, I have a lot of spam compressed NFTs. These are basically sent to you by scammers automatically on a particular script. And they are trying to get you to go to a fake website where you'd then be scammed. You can see there's a link here. We can't click on it, but people will quite often think, oh, I can get 1200 dupe for free. I'll go and click there. The thing is you need to go to Twitter and you need to make sure that you're going to the correct link. If in doubt, ask someone else, tag me on Twitter, go for it. Go to Hidden Collections down here. Let's have a look at this one. Same one again, just slightly different. It's all full of scammers. So if we want to get rid of them, we can go to Soul Incinerator. The website is soul-incinerator.com. Connect our wallet and click Phantom and connect. Everything has loaded in our wallet. So if we want to, if we didn't want for some reason, say this NFT or this NFT, we can also burn these and we'll get back some soul. However, we won't worry about them. We will go to see NFTs though. And now we will select the ones that we know we want deleted. This one, all of these, they're all bad. All of these, scam, 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 2000 Jito voucher scam. This one I want to keep. Drift trade, this is also a scam. If in doubt, double check it, of course. This one here, scam, scam, scam. There's no shortage of scams. It's unfortunate, scam. This one's not a scam. This one's a scam. Scam, ham, scam, 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 scam. This isn't even an active wallet. Scam, 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 and that's everything. Now we can go and delete these 27 items. We can burn them. Confirm burns, and then confirm. Now there's a tiny bit of soul that we'll pay, and we'll just click confirm. Now we can see we successfully burned 26 items. One failed, and it's a confusing thing. We won't get into the technical nature of it, but basically the scammer is changing something on the blockchain, which makes it difficult to burn. And in the future, they will be able to fix that and burn that. But this looks like it's all good. So we'll cancel this and we'll just give it a refresh. Click on see NFTs again and scroll on down. And we can see there's still just a couple of things here to burn. We know that this one won't, of course, but we'll try it again just so you can see the error one last time and confirm. Approve the transaction, confirm. And those two items were successfully burned. So we jump into our wallet again, scroll on down to hidden collections, and we can still see something here which is not showing for some reason. This one is not a scam token. It's part of Bankman Finance, but we've still been able to clean up the wallet pretty well. By the way, this is Soul Incinerator's official Twitter. So make sure you're following them for any more updates. Stay curious, catch you in the next tutorial.